Scorpius and welcome back to my Liverpool Karma where the last time I left off I uh, played Arch Rivals Manchester United and I beat them. Yeah Shut up those stupid little little pricks. And um now I'm playing a Champions League game against Marseille. I really should and I will give um, a game to some other players just really quickly. Like uh, Sami Minule, who else? Danilo, let's give him a game. The company back from his injury. Oh, he is. Huh. Uh, yeah, thanks for telling me that game. Freaking asshole game, didn't even tell me. Oh, your best. Your best defender is back from injury, by the way. Yeah, thanks for telling me. Uh, Enrique, he was bitching about not being played, so let's play him. Let's play Adrian. Let's play Henderson. Let's play Henderson. You know, he has, he has to prove himself. After uh, his his terrible performance against... Um, He ends his old club Sunderland in real life. I was watching that with my dad, and my dad kept saying that uh, Liverpool should have subbed him off. Uh, like five times during the second half against Sunderland. My dad kept saying uh, Liverpool should sub off Henderson, sub off Henderson. And, um,. Surprisingly, Liverpool only made one substitution in that match, which was weird. I was just, normally, I was kind of uh, expecting Daniel Aguilar to come off the bench, maybe for a few minutes, but he didn't. He didn't even come off. Hopefully, he'll play. Um, he'll play later. He'll play when we play against Crystal Palace. Today, um, hopefully, I mean, he should. I mean, he's an absolute. He's, a, he's our best center back. I mean, he has to play if he's fucking fit. And uh, but the if Agar is back, I'm really hoping Glenn Johns is back, because once Glenn Johnson and Agar are both back. Then it's then, then our defense will uh will go back to a fucking then we'll go back to a four defense and I'll feel much better. I I I don't know what it is. It just does not feel safe playing with three at the back. Now, granted, we beat Sunderland using three at the back, but um I don't know. Then comes section below. Do you think three at the back is a good? Formation, or do you think it's a bad choice? Leave in the comment section below, and I will uh, talk to you more about that after the game. Uh, we begin to see who the new favourites to top it, Daniel Lager. Well, we've got a, a battle within the war today, haven't we, with the player and he's tracking his old teammates? Yeah, and I think it's always an emotional time when you face your former club, so you just want to concentrate on doing yourself justice. coming down. Hope it won't affect the style of the game we're about to see. Alan. Sinclair. Looking good this move. Here's the shot. Goalkeeper makes the save and it's a clean save too. Doesn't drop the ball. Excellent positioning and the interception is made. Benoit Schedel, can you ever go back to Liverpool without remembering 1989? No, no, they do tend to remind you of it, but in a nice way, because I suppose it reminds them of their glory years as well. Morgan. And 
gets out now for a goal kick. say that the ball should have come quicker. He's offside. in the match. See it again. Oh, look at them. They're absolutely delighted. And why wouldn't they be? They're coming in from the right. That was so inviting. Wonderful delivery. Great ball, great goal. Well, it was a striker's instinct there because there wasn't a lot of room in that box. Sinclair. Here comes the cross. Struck it on the volley. The goalkeeper gets to it. Keeps hold of the ball. Liverpool penalised, and the Liverpool man has got yellow here. Don't think he meant the referee. Much choice there. Rash arm, reckless. Yeah, he might have done a bit more damage to his opponent than seems to have been the case. Now, that's 
good play. As soon as the opposition lost the ball, they recognised the potential for a counter-attack. Yeah, I mean, it's one thing having place on the counter, but you've got to pick your passes, and uh, they did it beautifully there. Liverpool really on top form in their first half. But not Shadow. And in goes the cross. They're setting up for the pool. Henderson! And the referee has signaled for half time. 3 0 with the scoreline of the score. Half time, well, football can be a game of two halves. It's an old cliche. The team that's losing need a much, much better half after the uh, turnaround. I mean, they started slowly and fell away, didn't they? I mean, it's been so poor for them, but you've got to uh, applaud the winning team. Everything they've done's come off. Well, one way traffic in that first half. It looks all done and dusted. I just can't see that. And there's the kickoff for the second half of this third match, remember, in the group stage of the Champions Cup. Seems to be one or two nerves about in that first period, but uh, I think it'll open up a little bit. Positional play of this play is really good. Teixeira. What opportunity. And the shot's off. And he scored and widens the gap between these two teams. And this is the man at the moment. No question about that. With his second goal of the game. Well, they want to see this again, this team. This goal. advantage at this stage they lead by four goals to nil Sinclair to Allen well that's his best save of the game Allen he's had a pretty sketchy match in truth but well done there yeah a bit of a thought in a storm for him he's not been in the best of all but yeah as you say fair play touch of class a back heel there Andre Ayu And the keeper able to hold the shot. It's one back. Here's the cross. Keeper really stretched and he's made a fine diving save. Take the corner. Position back on the ball. Excellent block. Out of play now. It's picked off the player and it's out of play. And here we'll see what they can manage from the corner. Two players are warming up for the home team. We'll see who comes on. Well, the match is now making a double change. Mathieu Belbuena. Time is run a little better than that, trying to get in behind the defender. And it's an offside uh, ploy for Marseille. Look at those stats on your screen now. 
showing how well it's working for the French club. Well, plenty to work on for the opposing attack, but as for these back four, well, they've done the job so far. Teixeira. And he has got a chance to get the cross in. Got the tackle in. The defender dealt with it. Oh, coughing out his cheeks there, he was worried. Goalkeeper gets to it and keeps hold of the ball. Teixeira. Right in quickly to try and win the ball back. And here's the shot. It's hit very well and the goalkeeper was strong. And take the corner. It was a mistake there by the opposition, it's sort of given the ball away, but you have to be there to get it, and he was there. Missing the chance, really wants to get this first goal in the bag for him, and he can't quite do it. Now you can see it's uh, weighing on his mind a little bit, he uh, snatched at it, and he needs to try and relax when he gets those chances. It's back, it's their ball again, a good intercepting play. much in free kick territory is foul very nearly from the free kick don't think he could have hit that one much better well you can see what he was trying to do and he's just just too high yeah he's got some dip on it but it just didn't come soon enough today team has had the ball and the other team hasn't. <laughs> yeah, there was, a, there was a golfing class out there today, which was surprising given the two sets of players. I wasn't expecting it. Anyway, I was talking a bit about um, 
the fact that Liverpool played um, with three at the back. They are also played with three at the back against Man United. Now, um, again, they played well in that match, but they lost. Key factor there that they lost. And um, it doesn't matter if it was a uh, Carlin Cup game. I was, I was still like to have won the match. No. Bit disappointed that I didn't. That we didn't uh, win the match. The Liverpool win. Win the match. Now that we're now we're out of the um. We're out of the. Was that I oh yeah, we are. Uh, even though um, we did lose to Man United, the there, there is a uh, a positive that can be taken away from that. That is uh, that Liverpool can now focus on the league, because you know, as a as a Liverpool fan. Personally, I would prefer to see Liverpool do well in the league and not really focus on them on the trophies. Not really focus on winning trophies right now. Trophy trophies can wait. Tro we're not in as bad a situation as Arsenal. I mean, we only won a trophy there in, uh, a few seasons ago, which actually was the Carling Cup. Ironically, we're not in a complete trophy drought like Arsenal. Oh, oh. Liverpool, personally, I think we need to focus more on the league and getting back into the Champions League and not where we're in the, mm, the fucking Carlin Cup. I mean, Carlin Cup position can wait. I mean, uh, getting back into the Champions League, that cannot. Winning the Carlin Cup can fucking wait. It's winning, getting back into the Champions League, we need that. Liverpool need that because big players are attracted to the Champions League. The fact that I'm playing the Champions League, I, I put Liverpool in the Champions League, it was, it was a real boost to help me get players. There's like Lewandowski and Royce, and you know I put Royce on the team. I mean, if I didn't have Champions League, Royce would be like, "Hey, why am I here?" He probably asked to have left, and I probably wouldn't have gotten Lewandowski if I didn't have Champions League football. So, what's that for you? Mm -hmm. Champions League football brings. It attracts a lot of players, and I'm not, not going to just... I would much rather see... Me. Me. A great a performance from Liverpool in the league. Get in that top four spot. Get Champions League football. Then we can focus on winning a trophy. If we win a trophy this year, that'd be great. I mean, you know, it's not going to do us any harm to win a trophy this year. But, I would much, as, from a personal standpoint, I want Liverpool to get Champions League football first. Then we can focus on winning a trophy. If you, if you, to any Arsenal fans, if you're looking at it from your standpoint, 
At least you have Champions League football. We don't. We Liverpool fans, we don't. Liverpool don't have that. Like I say, from a personal standpoint, I think Liverpool should focus on getting back into the Champions League. Then, then we can talk about getting um, a trophy. Because if we get into the Champions League, more or big name will have more money to spend. We could lure some big name players into the club, make the make our team better. I mean, if we don't get Champions League football, I'm pretty sure Suarez will definitely leave. If we won't be able to attract any big name players, and we'll have to rely on Daniel Sturridge to get all our goals, and that's a lot of pressure putting to put on Sturridge. He's a great player. But that's a lot of pressure to put on one guy. If you have two big name strikers, at least you're not totally dependent on one to get all your goals. Sturge and Suarez have already proven in one fucking game this season how deadly they can be together. Just ask Sunderland. Just ask them. I'm sure or they'll not very happily, but they'll tell you how bad how bad, how, uh, how decisive Suarez and Sturridge were. Granted, there was controversy about Sturridge's goal, but there was no controversy about the goals from Luis Suarez. I mean, why do you think I have two big name strikers in Sergio Grand Lucas and uh, I was almost gonna say Lucas Podolski. <laughs> Weird. I mean, Robert Lewandowski, why would I say? Ugh. I'm gonna stop talking for a while. The most optimistic of fans would not have envisaged this top of the table, a good portion into the season. Typical parties keeping themselves there now. They might just get a little nervous, but uh, full credit to them for what they've achieved so far. Goal news from Norwich. Alan McAnally. It's a goal from Cardiff City. One minute played, one nil. Cheers, Alan. The referee is Derek Milboro. Aguero. It's not really going to get the better of him from that range, especially when he can see it all the way. Just talking about this from Jack Vietnam, I mean, uh, they've been a bit of a yo-yo club, haven't they? Is that their fate? They run very heavily financially, which means, of course, the manager doesn't have so much to spend. So are they really accepting that that's going to happen to their club? I think he is, and that's, that's modern-day football these days. There's a lot of owners. Here's the shot! It's one back. Goal is from Norwich. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Norwich City. It's been scored by Wesley Houlihan. A powerful curling effort from about 40 yards out. 30 minutes played. 1 1. Thanks, Alan. James Morrison. He will be determined to do a bit better than in his recent games. He is better than those performances have shown. Surely he is. Yeah, and I think uh, the manager, rightfully so, he's given him a, another chance, but I've seen over the last couple of weeks, confidence has been low. Here's the opportunity. Oh, what a decisive save. Let me just uh, talk about us from Javin again for a moment. Um, uh, are they a yo yo club? They're, they're running away that. They know that they're not going to be in financial ruin if they do get relegated. They'll be strong to mount a challenge to come back. Have they sort of accepted that's their life, do you think? I don't know if you ever accepted, but I mean, they have in the last few years been up and down. Not to say that they that, that, that form has to continue. And, uh, you know, they can they can build on what they achieved in the previous season. And um, 
you know, hopefully for them to stay in the division for a few years to come. Robert Lewandowski. Keep it gonna touch it, Nick. Dangerous moment. Oh, the block there. Stopping the goal, I think. Drops on here. He's tucked away the chance, Alan. Yeah, and I think he's still acclimatising, you know, to his to his new surroundings, but if he can tuck away chances like that, he's gonna settle very quickly. Superb team, plenty of chances and a goal now to show for all their class. They've got a few, they could have had even more, really, when you think of the number of chances they've created here. Some players are just born with this instinct to be in that position, to get himself half a yard of space in the box. Wonderful. Well, it's risky for the goalkeeper to try and catch the ball these days, but he's caught this one. just stood booted to the spot on the edge of the box and what a poor one to concede. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Well, that has made it 2-0. Yakko. Yeah, it's good front. Showing it's a physical game when it's a fair one too and that's a great challenge. Nicolas Anelka in the news because speculation about him finishing his career. He you know he knows. Well, a goal! Here's the chance! And he goes for goal! Oh, what a cheeky attempt! And the referee blows his whistle. The back was up for offside. Just when the team wanted somebody to lead from the front, he's done it yet again. Oh, talk about composure. Just keeps his head, keeps a no chance there. In this first half. Liam Ridgewell. Good movement to get to it. It's took it. And hits it. And Lewandowski that's another goal from a player that they brought in for this season. And it was a very wise move, Alan. I think it was. He's uh, done himself justice. He's uh, proved that uh, he was worth all the effort to bring him to the club. It's a wonderful advantage at this stage. They lead by four goals to nil. The verdict on time is two minutes. The captain has gone to ground and been left on the ground. Then, and it's Liverpool who lead. Well, this has been really good. We didn't really want half time to come because the action has been just what the fans would have wanted. Yeah, and there's a real buzz around this stadium as they sit there eating there. Away we go for the second half. It was a very one sided first half, as the scoreline tells us. Defending, but it's done the job. And the referee right on the spot there to give the handball. And no sooner the foul given, and the referee says, Play on, take the free kick. They've done that. Martin Skirtle, well, he's back against his old club. Alan, did that ever happen to you? Well, it did. I uh, joined Arsenal, then went back on loan to Leicester, and then actually played for Leicester at Highbury against Arsenal, it was a weird one. Both sets of fans sing my name. Positively, I hope. Yeah. Absolutely no trouble for the goalkeeper here to save that shot from distance. 
and they take, was it very convincing, was it? Uh, he tried his luck from a long way out, but the goalkeeper had no problems at all. Goal there is from Norwich, Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Norwich City. It's been scored by Johan Elmander. The keeper came for a cross, missed it, and left an easy tap in. 59 minutes played, 3-1. Lewandowski! Lewandowski, he's got two now. And this campaign has been joyous for him at this new club. Well, he's given them consistency from start to finish. And Liverpool have got the goal. Well, talk about luck. The keeper makes a good save, but straight into the path of the attacker. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Made it 5-0. As it was a goal from Norwich City, that news from Alan McAnally. We just had to clip it a bit because of what's going on here. The score is now 3-1. Sergio Aguero. New teammates, very encouraging. This could be it. Is it too eager to get in behind the opposition caught offside? Aguero. Lewandowski. He shoots. They're not just sitting back now. They're trying to widen the gap. Robert Lewandowski. It's a good day for him today with these two goals, isn't it? But it's his season overall that we're looking at, maybe, Alan. And it's been a pretty good one, hasn't it? It has been a good one. Yeah, very steady. Uh, two well-taken goals here. It's going to be a goal, surely. And he's struck a goal. Get the shot out, it's still in play. The interceptor has got the ball here. They've set it up well for the cross. The player has been picked out perfectly. That was an easy decision for the assistant. It's offside. He's gone too early. <laughs> Cheeky attempt. Lewandowski, he's got three now. 
and show him yet again. Got a superb signing, great judgment from the manager at the start of the season. Yeah, haven't taken it too long. He's top man at this football club now. Coming up another look at it, Alan, that will show us something. Didn't think he had time for another touch of the ball. He just hit it. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, it takes an awful lot of confidence to take on that shot. So many would take a touch and then the chance is gone. Oh, I touch them all, they have been the better team out here. And uh, the scoreline has reflected that. Game over. Okay, um, what was I thinking? Oh, yeah. Now, um, I was talking about how, uh, I prefer if Liverpool focused on the, the league this season. That's not to say I wouldn't love to win a trophy. I mean, if Liverpool win, say Liverpool win the FA Cup, just, just, just say they win the FA Cup, then um, we um, we win the FA Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like every other Liverpool fan, will be partying and celebrating and all that good shit. And I will be partying like it's nobody's business if Liverpool were to win the FA Cup. But, and I'm not using the fact that I want Liverpool to focus on the league as an excuse. Oh, I say, well done, Manny. I, you, who got the goal, you won. Fair enough, you be us. We'll get you later in the season when we play at, um, at Old Trafford in the league. We'll beat you then. It's not that. It's not that. No. I, I'm i not making any excuses. All credit to United. They won the under the heat. 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 Liverpool could have had, could at least send it to extra time with all the chances they had. But didn't score them. Lost the match. Credit to Man United. You know I don't like them. No Liverpool fan does. Well, I don't know a Liverpool fan that does. We respect United as a team, but we don't like them. I mean, you know the teams don't like each other. I suspect there's like a mutual respect between them. Like, I get that feeling. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong to get that. Feeling. A feeling like that. Um, I personally do feel that that Liverpool, yeah, I mean, it's been heated, yeah, but I mean, I'd say if you got them, if you talk to any Liverpool May I player, or, and say do you respect them, say if you were talking to Let's let's take the two most senior players on each team, Ryan Giggs and and Steven Gerrard. If you talk to both of them, I s and ask them, do you? If you ask Giggs, do you respect Liverpool? And if you ask Gerrard, do you respect Man United? They'd pro they'd, they'd probably say yes. 
I'd be very surprised if they did not say yes. Maybe I'm wrong, but I can... I can definitely see that there would be a mutual respect there. I mean, English football would not be this... Would not... Would probably not even exist right now if it was not for me. AI in Liverpool. And don't say Arsenal. Arsenal, oh, Arsenal were good. Heard uh, when, when Wenger first arrived up until about 2004, 2005. Now they're coming good again. Then they, after the, for the last few years they've had a bad run. Now they're coming good again. But they haven't had as much impact as many I in Liverpool. I mean, personally, I do believe there is a mutual respect, not just between many I and Liverpool, but with all teams. I definitely say there is a mutual respect between all teams. I mean, yeah, on the field, you don't. That respect is put aside. It's about the match winning the match. I know that. Everyone knows that. But off the field, I'd say he, he Liverpool players would have no problem hang out with he, the players from one of the other teams. I can't imagine why they wouldn't. So maybe I'm wrong, but personally, I can definitely see there being a mutual respect. Maybe I'm wrong. Um. Ah, oh, damn! I forgot to change the team. I forgot to change the team. Oh, I screwed up. I put out my uh, my top squad. I did not mean to do that. Oh no! I did not mean to do that. Now I, I can make the sub some substitutions at halftime, but most of these players will have to play. Anyway, on to the match. They want to lift at the end of it. It's an ambitious effort, and it nearly produced a great reward. Oh, I mean, he's a long way out. It would have been a heck of a goal, but he fell away. In charge today, the match referee, Chris Mumford. Rice is still a chance after the save. Aguero! It's Liverpool who scores! For Liverpool, a great moment in the match. See it again. Oh, look at it. They're absolutely delighted. And why wouldn't they be? I'll talk about luck. The keeper makes a good save, but straight into the path of the attacker. Well, I want to see this again, this team. This goal. So after the goal, we've opened the scoring here. 1-0. For Liverpool, in the sixth place. Number seven. Straight in sharply, read it well, got in there quickly. Can you ever go back to Liverpool without remembering 1989? No, no, they do tend to remind you of it, but in a nice way, because I suppose it reminds them of their glory years as well. in the news because speculation about him finishing his career. He know he knows when it's right, he might be feeling his body. You know, you need to think long and hard before making such a, a big decision. Steven Gerrard. The 
Liverpool will take over possession again. Not quite enough room for him there. He's playing it out of play. Defender did well, saw him out really. Looking good this move. Oh, he's stuck out of hand. That's, that's got to be a free kick. Well, that's uh, good defensive positioning really from the defender to deal with the cross. That tackle didn't hold him up. He's away. He's in at goal. It's where you want to try and get control in midfield, and they've got the ball. Aguero, he comes the challenge. Which way is he going to go now? Support on either side. Has reached his teammate and the header was on target, but he really didn't make it very difficult for the goalkeeper at all. And they would have done well to score from that because it wasn't the easiest of chances. It's one back, he's gone out for a goal kick. slender margin at this stage. They've got half time coming up and they want to get there with this lead still intact. And in goes the cross. Aguero! It's a goal from the header! A really good goal. Well, it was a great delivery into the box from that left hand side. It's where they looked dangerous. The timing was great and the bravery to get ahead of his man. There was some header. Now it's 2 0. They've got the ball back through a very good interception. And that's the goalkeeper's ball. He's kept it. It's not getting away from him. Half time now, and 2 0 is the score at the break. Well, this should be the halfway point of the cup ties, and we've got one team leading with a chance of progressing in this tournament. Well, the trailing team, I think, just got to pick themselves up during the half time break and come out and produce a little bit better. So we reach half time. 2-0 the score with Liverpool leading. Let's take a look at the highlights from the first half. And then we'll be back over to your commentary team for the rest of the match. Quarterfinals of the English League Cup. There's still a second half to go. Here it is, starting now. 
points comes down to who wants it the most. Marco Royce. Right in quickly to try and win the ball back. What a chance! Oh, so close hit the post! Shots on here. Looked a bit panicky from the defender. Good movement to get to it. First red shot. Could it be? That can mean a lot to him, that particular goal. Well, the first goal is always important for any player, and that should enable him to kick on and feel a lot more comfortable now. Well, he's been able to just walk it into the net, and there'll be some questions asked about this later. Oh, the keeper's gone walkabouts, but what a guilt hitch golden opportunity. Good miss. Now they lead by three goals to them. Richards. He's worked out where the space is. Oh, he's going to shoot now. Oh, he's jumped off target, tried to curl it with the outside of his foot. No, it's a clever effort. We miss it by too much. Good technique. Oh, let's try. And the manager's decided for a change of personnel. Lewandowski. Looking for Gerard. Gerard! Tested the reach of the goalkeeper, but he came up with the answer, Alan. He did. I mean, it wasn't a bad effort, but I think it was the wrong one in the end. That's a really important challenge. They would have been in. He's got to score! He goes for goal! And that's straightforward for a goalkeeper of this calibre. Sturridge. Surely he's going to score here. He shoots. They could have widened the lead here. And they'd be good value for it in truth. In the news because speculation about him finishing his career. You know, only he knows when it's right, he might be feeling his body. You need to think long and hard before making such a big decision. Options available on the bench for the away side today. They got the ball back through a very good interception. Daniel Sturridge is the player offside. Just a change now. He's bringing on a new player. To Harrison. That will help ease the pressure. Got the ball back by that interception. And the ball goes out for a goal kick. Yeah. A recent signing, and now a happier signing because he got his first goal for the club. Yeah, you don't want it to be a long time before you get your first goal, so a little weight off his shoulders there. to be quick. It could be it. That's a goal! And he's taken the chance beautifully. That's a great piece of tactical awareness by the manager and by the player himself who's put the instructions into practice. Now let's take another look at the goal. Now, it's a tough ask for the other team to really come into this match and try and alter the uh, general perception of it. They haven't been able to do that and they're going to go home second best. Looks that way. The other team haven't been able to get close to the opposition, haven't been able to really get the foot on the ball, and uh, it's a stroll at the moment. Here, tries his luck. He's still got a decision to be made by the goalkeeper, and he made the right decision, Alan. He did, I mean, he was committed. He made sure he didn't give the foul away. Positional play of this play is really good. Daniel Sturridge. Here's the shot, and he goes for the chip. Well, he's got support here. Coutinho. 
Oh, he's going to shift now. There's no time for the opposition to spoil Liverpool's day, but they haven't looked like doing it because Liverpool haven't let them look like doing it. Sturridge. Absolutely no trouble for the goalkeeper here to save that shot from distance. This is a brilliant result for them. They continue fighting in the cup. On they go for the next round. They just appear to have a wonderful team spirit in that camp, and that's going to serve them well. Well, there was only one team in that game and the whole... So with that win, I am through to the quarterfinals of the Capital One Cup. I really am looking to pick up where I left off last at the end of FIFA team. Javi Alonso telling me he's exhausted. I know. I'm sorry, Javi. I completely forgot. I'm gonna. I and I and they're all. And now all my players are tired, so um, it's gonna be a bit disrespectful to my next team. Bung, to my next match, or but I will have to play a much different starting eleven. Who's my next game? Oh, it's Newcastle, and that's not an easy game. All Newcastle fans, I apologize in fans, it is not, my lineup against your team will not be a sign of disrespect. It's because my players are just too tired. It's my fault. It's not a sign of disrespect. It is not. But, that will be another day. Until next time, like, comment. Subscribe.